Uh, hey, I, I just want to pop in. I don't even have my mic on me today, uh, but I, it's important. I made a mistake in my uh, Aperture 1200 Storm uh, review, and I wanted to correct that. I had mistakenly said that the Storm 1200X was marginally brighter than the older Aperture 1200D. That is actually not the case. Uh, I asked Mitch Gross at Aperture if he could send me their internal data so I could have it here. Uh, I no longer have a 1200D in-house to do my own testing. Um, so when we talk about the Storm uh, versus the old 1200D, if we look at a bear cob, bear cob to bear cob, at both at 56 at three meter distance, the bear cob on the 1200D is giving us 6,380 lux versus 8,490 on the Storm 1200X. That's roughly a 30, 32% increase, which is not marginal, that is fairly significant. But what's even more significant is if we look at the 45 degree medium reflector dish on both of these units at that same three meter distance, we get roughly 13,000 lux out of the 1200D and we get 22,500 out of the 1200X. If my math is correct, that's over a 70% increase. That is phenomenal for a bicolor light. I mean, it's amazing to think how far we've come in just a few short years from the 1200D to this new tunable white uh, bicolor storm fixture. Uh, so I give him a lot of kudos. Uh, that is really, really remarkable. Um, so uh, if you're paying attention uh, and you were looking at the IBC show in Europe over the past week, um, Aperture walked away with four best of show awards for this new Storm 1200X. And I have to say, the gauntlet gets passed back and forth as new fixtures come out. Um, you know, there are fixtures that came out from other manufacturers. You know, a year is a long time right now in LED technology. And so things are constantly improving. And I think as we look at the lay of the land right now, there's no question in my mind that this now uh, is probably the best 1200 uh, Cobb fixture uh, on the market. Uh, I've had this light out on set maybe four or five times uh, since I was allowed to bring it on set after launch, um, and I am hard pressed to really come up with a con on this light. I think Aperture really nailed it. And uh, as I said, it's because they've really done an innovative job in a rethinking about what bicolor light could be. And moreover, when this light launched, I was shocked to see the launch price. Uh, it is now selling for $29.90. That is a remarkably aggressive price for Aperture uh, compared to price points we've seen from them in the past. Super aggressive. Um, just uh, when I received this light three weeks before launch, I was told it was gonna be somewhere around 3,600. And by the time it launched, they decided to move at a very aggressive price point of $29.90, $200 or so extra for the reflector set. Um, there's no question they want everyone to buy these. They want people to get the introduction and the experience with this tunable white as they begin to add more fixtures to the storm line. If I had to speculate, I'm guessing we'd see something around the 600 range, maybe something in the 300 range, and a smaller fixture like the older 60X or 60 uh, D's somewhere in that range. Um, so uh, very exciting. One last thing I do want to address because uh, it's come up in salon. There's been a lot of questions about aperture repair and service. And I can tell you, I've sp spoke privately with Mitch Gross at Aperture, with Tim Kang at Aperture, even with Ted Sim. Uh, it's been an ongoing conversation. Um, aperture is well aware uh, that they they need to make uh, dramatic improvements in turnaround times and customer service and repairs. And I know that they've been working really hard on it. And Mitch has told me, you know, it's a big ship. It takes a while to write it and get it going in the right direction. And I know from many conversations I've had, they've made a lot of inroads into improving things. They still have a ways to go. They know that, um, you know, we've all heard stories of friends that might have had a 1200D and it took months and months and months to you know get repaired and they know it's unacceptable we know it's unacceptable um and i think it to be fair to aperture a lot of these new lights the infinity mats the storm 1200x the electro storm series they have been designed now to be more uh repair friendly, right? There are now like uh, internal component parts that can be more easily swapped out. Uh, they're trying to get a lot of these parts shipped in advance to the repair service centers. 
uh, third party repair places like Lux Lighting, etc., um, and really try to make uh, a move to dramatically reduce uh, these repair times. Um, so we'll see. I take them at their word. They're working hard. It's, uh, you know, nonstop job number one there right now to make sure that professionals uh, and us end users really have a reliable um, uh, repair service, right? We all know a small owner op like me, I can't afford to the loss of ROI to have one of my lights down and be out of service for three, four, five, six months. Uh, it really needs to be uh, a few weeks, two, three weeks, right? Uh, maximum. So that's the efforts they're trying to make. We'll see what happens over the next uh, next few months, next six months, next year. But um, I'm very happy to hear that uh, they're working hard at it. Um, so again, apologies for the mistake. Uh, love to hear everybody's feedback on this new Storm uh, 1200X. And I will see you back in Gaffer Salon. Thanks so much for watching.